Welcome back. The Army is constantly integrating modern technologies to fight and win in combat. These technologies are now making their way into our initial entry training. In this live fire, our Ron Andrus will take a look at one of the modern ways to train new troops. So, so Ron, are you working out there today or just playing around? Oh, hey, Jen. I know what it looks like, but I'm not playing video games right now. I'm actually working. And today I'm out at the 254's Virtual Interactive Training Lab taking a look at some new state-of-the-art technology that's providing our troops with a new cutting-edge way to train up. All right, incoming! We're shooting across the street up to the doorway. Everybody follow me. The future of basic and combat training is here at Fort Benning. A virtual Interactive Combat Environment is a system for training team tactics, techniques, and procedures. It's a live training environment where you're able to go in and actually do maneuvers and do fire at the same time. All the things that I'll see in theater, I can load onto this computer or onto the system and use integrated, squad integrated weapons to train here. The Virtual Interactive Combat Environment, or VICE, gives instructors the ability to conduct any type of training virtually, whether it's basic training fundamentals or more complex battlefield operations. It does everything from squad tactical training, pull up a range if I want. I can do um, indoor ranges, outdoor ranges. I can do enter and clear rooms, buildings, urban operations. I can do woodland, desert, pretty much you name it. Tactical site exploitation, checkpoint operations. Each student is able to individually maneuver and communicate and shoot within the environment based upon their own decision making. Then you truly can have team maneuver and communication and decision making uh, training within the environment. Instructors also have the ability to instantly add or alter any element within the virtual training environment in order to enhance or customize the training. There's a lot of things we can do with this thing. The instructor station allows me to change and tailor the training as I see fit. So if I'm doing a patrol and I want to throw an IED in, I want to throw in a spotter, I can do it with a simple click of a button. So you can tune it to whatever the instructor really wants to focus on. You can throw more stuff at them, you can make it more complicated, you can advance the training technique very quickly, very powerfully. So you're able to place down new objectives, new opponents, um, mix up the scenario very fast. So you're not, you're not just learning the scenario, you're learning the training goal. And that's one of the real powers of the system. One of the most powerful teaching tools VICE offers is the ability to replay each training event and see exactly what happened. Well, it automatically gives you uh, after action review and it will actually mark uh, significant events. It will record your entire mission and you can fast forward through it, rewind through it, get 360 degree view of your mission while the drill sergeant was conducting it. Then he comes over, you can actually conduct it with his soldiers there. Tell them what went right, tell them what went wrong, get the mission, and make sure they can do it better next time. Army leaders know how valuable and effective the vice training is to their soldiers, and it can do virtually anything. We could have a system that allow me to conduct training in sector before I get there with dismounted training on actual streets that are in the operating environment. If I could do that and rehearse that prior to getting there and know those streets, know the people living there, that just makes me a better soldier. VICE saves the Army time, money, and resources and has limitless potential. But its greatest potential lies in its ability to save the lives of American soldiers. In this environment, mistakes are a learning experience. In the real world, mistakes can be fatal. This is what is needed to save lives. As you can see, VICE is a very powerful training tool that gives these soldiers invaluable combat experience in a safe, virtual environment. It also shortens their learning curve and quickly improves their soldiering skills. Ron, this looks similar to some other virtual trainers we've seen. How is VICE different than the others? Well, VICE is different in that you can pretty much do anything you want with it. It's very multidimensional. You can create any type of scene, anywhere, any city in the world, any type of environment, conduct any type of training. Um, you know, you're not locked into one thing or, or limited to one thing. Uh, you can move individually within uh, the same environment. It's just, it's very multifaceted and um, it's, it's really, it's basically, it's limitless to what you can do with this thing. Exactly how does virtual training translate to the real world? Good question. What this does is it gives them first-hand experience of, of what combat's like. Um, you know, bombs going on around them, gunfire, people running around, the sometimes chaotic environment of warfare. So this allows them to get used to it uh, so they can stay calm and they can think under these types of conditions. But it also provides them uh, an opportunity to work with their team, you know, their team, their squad, their, their platoon under these conditions. So 
All this basically just gives them this type of experience so that you know they're ready to go out there in the real situation and, and be able to think and you know it's invaluable. It's just it's excellent training. Okay, good deal. Thanks, Ron.